right, so the green light is on, my guy does. Welcome to everybody's favorite 420 podcast. This is again your main host, everybody, your main Chino. And again, this uh, special guest that we got on today is my guy Des from Michigan. And he's also brand ambassador from Stizzy. So yes, let's sir. oh, it's about to be a good ass show. I know you you already rolling. You already got one stuffed. You know, I got got one rolled up. Let's go. Look at that. What, what, what's the string you got right there inside? Right now I'm smoking on this tip-top crop. Uh, Zolato. Some fire. If you don't follow them on the gram, I'll definitely be getting them a follow. I didn't put it in the camera. There I go. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let me see. Yeah, they got these, these cool little jars. I love it. I love jars, man. Keep that shit fresh. But yeah, they got some good shit. That's what's up. That's what's up. I actually, even before we uh got on, I, I was taking pre-dab, and I really didn't realize... I had no water in my thing. <laughs> Terrible mistake, man. I don't, know how... the water. <laughs> I don't know how one of my boys, he he could be dabbing on the puff coat with no water in it. I'm like, dude, come on, my guy. <laughs> Gotta get it straight. <laughs> nah, but yeah. uh, ladies and gentlemen, today I actually am dabbing as always. And I got some from, that's called Banana Skittles. And it's from the brand The Limit. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, that was like actually my recent pickups from uh, when I went to Grand Rapids. Uh, so that was pretty decent, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I started. To... Uh, uh, I go out there sometimes with my boy Dylan. He's the uh, that's his territory. It's the, uh, his easy territory. Always some fire out there, man. They got some. They got good selections in all the shops up there. Well, so uh, when I know when I met you for the first time, it was all the way in what was it, Jackson? Yeah, yeah, yep, right. that's where okay, yep, that's so... where I'm from actually too, is Jackson, and that's one of my territories as well. See, we already smoking, bro. Before we we even got deep in it. <laughs> hey, real, real, real smoking, <laughs> no, but man. what 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 other parts of Michigan do you cover then? So my three territories are Lansing, Jackson, and Coldwater. Coldwater is my newest territory. That's kind of a small town, but they got like. 15 stores there all within like five minutes of each other. And then a lot of people come from out of town. They like to shop over there um, straight on, right on the border. You know what I'm saying? So it's pretty lit, man. I like cold water. But on the border of like what, like what state or is it border like Canada? People, or... people come from Indiana. Oh, okay. Okay. A lot of people come from Indiana, hit cold water. Some people come from Indiana, come all the way to Lansing, but that's like right there. So that's, they be busting out there. How's Lansing though? Over um, like, man, the... being from Jackson, I don't feel like it's that different from Jackson. I feel mm-hmm. like it's just a bigger Jackson, really, man. The same shit be going on. I see a lot of people I know too because I've worked here. I butt tended here for three years, so whenever I do vendor days, I usually see a lot of people I know and shit. So, the industry pretty cool in Lansing, man. I fuck with it. Okay, and then overall, from all I guess from the third one, it's been recent, but like. From the first two, I guess, how, ooh, like, which one do you rec- recommend as, you know, like, which one do you really, or is From it my both? Y- yeah. Um, man, I got to fuck with Lansing, honestly, because dude, we just keep getting so many stores. We about to get a house of dank, man, on, on the ninth. I'm actually doing a vendor day there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I believe it's going to be 12 to 3, and they probably going to be doing hella giveaways, hella all types of cool shit. They probably going to have hella vendors over there. I don't know if you know about House of Dank, but they always, you know, they always pop in anyway. So it's going to be lit. Uh, I actually, uh, when I went the first time, when I went to Detroit, I actually went to House of Dank. It was pretty decent, though. I got, uh, I actually liked their deals. And as a first timer, too, like, I, we got a hell of shit. But on top of that, we even got, like, some free shit as well. Like, oh, yeah, a decent amount. It was like, damn, you know, like. Coming yeah, from, from Chicago, dance, you know, like we we ain't getting that type of you know love out out there like like uh, Michigan does. <laughs> yeah, nah. It was it was it's crazy, man. When I was bud tending, that's what everybody would say. They would see the prices and be like, just going crazy because them Illinois prices is crazy, man. You, you been in Illinois? No, no, I, that's just the only reason I know. Because from oh. bud tending, people telling me like I sell them carts, they'd be like, bro, I would pay. I'll pay. I used to pay a hundred dollars for a fucking cart, like type shit. And yeah, like, hell yeah, oh. bro. Like, like, no way. You're coming out there with like a bundle of shit, and over here, that's how much you get for like for one. That's crazy. That's the thing, but you know, 
I guess I guess we we still new to this or whatever, you know, shit got to get fixed, you know, like the right people, you know, trying to take over and stuff like that, you yeah. know. Yeah, so, I don't like it though for the for the people because some people use this shit for medicine, man, and you know what I'm saying it's hard when you got to when you just want a cart or or some edibles or something for your arthritis or your pain and you got to go pay fifty fucking dollars. So I feel people that ride up here from Illinois, and I probably would do the same thing. I probably wouldn't even be spending no money over there for real. No, they. I always get asked, "How's the drive?" Uh, and I'm just telling them, I'm like, just go the st- speed limit, you know. Don't don't go on crazy. Don't you know? Don't be it's a trip, man. I it's mean, a trip, but you I mean, go, I mean, if we, like we don't, you know. I'm sure everybody who listens could be, you know, smoking and driving, you know. Although you know, we don't console that that stuff, you, you know, be responsible and stuff. Yeah, you know, but but I mean, you just gotta be watch out, man. That's pretty much yeah. it. That's all I say. I mean. To me, the drive is already kind of quick, you know, because I've gone three times already. So, you know, yeah. it's nothing to me anymore. But Just go get you a little bag and, and drive safe, man. Uh, yeah, <laughs> bro. Have that shit in the back safe. of the trunk. <laughs> yeah, definitely want to put it in the trunk, man, for sure. Um, nah, but that's what's yeah, up. Man. Yeah, so, let's see pop it though, man. I've, I've been waiting to get a house of dank for the longest. I finally got one. I'm just getting more and more stores, so it's, it's pretty lit. I ain't got no complaints, man, right now. Steezy going good. We just dropped the uh, the liquid diamond uh, live resin pods. Okay, okay. I know you were mentioning you got some new shit that they, they just dropped. That's part, that's part of it. <coughs> yep, we just dropped those, and uh, we doing a, a cool deal too. Uh, you, you know, you know about our power cases. Nah, what, what was that? So our power case is it's a portable power case, and you can drop your Steezy battery like in there, and it'll you know charge it for you on the go. There's a little storage spot for you for an extra pod too. And what we doing is if you buy one of our liquid diamond pods, uh, you get a pod free, but of course because we always do buy one get one free, mm-hmm. and then you get the power case too and a free battery. So you buy one pod, you get a free free another one, power case and a battery. So you get the whole setup. You know what I'm saying just for the purchase of one pod. So. If, if you know what I'm saying, it's pretty lit. That's what's up. I see that. It's always is that always like a thing for you guys that it's always a buy one get one free or or something like that a bogo. Yeah, yeah. When we do our vendor days, we usually always do buy one get one free. And if we don't, it's usually because the store has got a deal they want to run or they've got their own deals going. You know what I'm saying? But most people they they want to do that bogo. It usually goes crazy too. I'm sure. Hell yeah. And it seems worth it too, because of everything that you're saying that it's included in that bitch. Hell yeah. Yeah, man. It's, it's a fire deal. If I'm out shopping, honestly, and somebody and, and there's a vendor day, um, and they just giving shit away, but they shit is all regular price, you know what I'm saying? Unless that's what I was picking up already, mm-hmm. I'm probably not shopping. But if you tell me it's a buy one, get one free, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm probably gonna grab it. So it's a pretty good deal. I'm grateful we get we get to work with it. That way we can, you know what I'm saying? We just got a good deal for the mm-hmm. people. If I didn't, I don't know what I would be saying to these people. <laughs> what other products is, is, is new that's dropping? How, how's your, your blunts? Blunts, man, still going crazy. We're supposed to be dropping some mini a mini three pack of blunts soon, I think it is. Okay. Um and then we got edibles coming soon too. I think one of my bosses just told me like few months you know what i'm saying probably be, you know a few months i don't, don't want to put no time on it because you know how stuff go in the industry things don't always work out yeah, uh, yeah. like when you want to but we definitely got edibles coming soon and that's what i'm really excited about we got them in california already so okay and you haven't gotten no like sneak peek or unreleased shit you know for you guys not to try yet. out not yet that's when it's gonna be real deal and i'm really gonna be putting it out there once they once they got enough to throw me a sample you know what i'm saying Mm-hmm. That's gonna be lit because I love edibles, man. I'm really I'm big into edibles because I'm not always trying to smoke. I like to say save, save my lungs a little bit sometimes. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I most definitely feel you on that, bro. At least at least you know work out or if you're a heavy smoker or some shit, you know, stay active. Yeah, yeah, uh, I definitely I'll be in the gym too, man. Been in the gym a lot lately. I most definitely feel you on that one, bro. I, I got Loki got picked up on my gym sessions, you know. I I I I got totally so much, you know, smoke sessions, but you know, <laughs> yeah, no, I gotta stay healthy, gotta be active nowadays, man. That's crazy. Yeah, man. Thirty you know? minutes a day, man. Just some type of movement is lit for, especially when you're smoking, man. I smoke a lot, bro. So I I be feeling like I gotta do something. 
I used to know a guy that that he was like smokes a lot and like they, he would like smoke before a workout and he would just be straight in there cardio or you know in that bitch. I know people who do that too. I know a lot of people who smoke before and I don't know. I just feel like once my adrenaline start pumping and I'm working out, my high is just going anyway. So I don't smoke before. I like to, I like to kick back after. Yeah, right. Like the post the post workout. Yeah, you get your little protein and your little joint, your little dad, whatever it is, you know, and enjoy yeah. that shit. Hell yeah, bro. <coughs> I, that's what I really used to do. Hell yeah. A, I really although I tried working out high, like well not like smoke before, but like just be high <coughs> in the moment of working out. And uh, it was all right. I felt like more lazy, I'm not gonna lie, than you know. Feeling, feeling pumped and all. Yeah, no, nah, I feel yeah. like that, that's why I smoke. That's why I don't even do sativas because I smoke to relax. You know what I'm saying? I'd be a little bit anxious, so I'm really trying to, uh, trying to mellow out. Mm -hmm. so, you know what I'm saying? I'd be as soon as I leave the gym, I'm, that's what I'm doing, rolling up, getting some protein in, like you said. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up, G. And overall, like, is is this even like the only brand that you worked for, like as a cannabis brand? Uh yeah, yeah. But as a brand rep, yeah. I used to bud tend at a little shop. Okay. But, you know what I'm saying? That was that was a while ago. And uh Loki you miss bud tending or not? Sometimes I do. Sometimes I do. But it's like I'm almost still doing the same thing. It's just less work, honestly. And then the thing about working in Lansing is I used to bud tend in Lansing. So a lot of times I see people who used to shop where I work, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and that's lit that's like one of my favorite things because that shit once you butt tend to some other uh, people for a certain amount of time bro you damn near like family man yeah, i'm sure come in. get to know you and shit yeah i feel you on that you yeah. know that customer come in every day you see, you see my fuckers every day <laughs> you got any good butt tender story butt tender stories any crazy ones shit <laughs> he, he about to say, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> exactly, I don't even know where to begin, man. You see it, I, I see. I worked in East Lansing, so I seen it all, man. You Ooh. know, what I'm for real, small all, man. All what, types of stuff. What time was it like? Bro. What's been like the craziest shit? I, I, you can say, man, the craziest thing. It's just probably when people get banned, man. You got to sometimes you got to ban people, even people who've been coming for a while because they do some crazy shit or say some crazy shit. And then we had a dude, we had to ban. I almost just said his name. I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> but uh, we had to ban, bro. He was coming since we opened. Uh, and he start, he was threatening us, bro. He was threatening us. He was making review in all our reviews. And then he kept calling, threatening us violently. I ain't like what? Like saying what? Bro, basically saying he going to shoot us. Get out calling, of here, bro. What the calling fuck? my manager a bitch said he's gonna shoot the whole place up. All types of shit, man. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just shit like that. People coming in drunk because we right on Grand River Ave in East Lansing. So you know what I mean? A lot of people coming in drunk as hell. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was always just me observing things. It was never me like involved in the situation. So it was never oh. too crazy. It is the weed shop, so it should never get too crazy, you know what I'm saying? But that was probably no, right? crazy. It's, it is weed. Probably, <laughs> Damn, that's uh, fucked up, though. Yeah, that's no, he got banned because he kept saying we were shorting him on apes. They was they was pre packed apes, and he would go home and wham and shit. And he'd be like, "You shorted me point two And he added it all up, and he's like, "You owe me this many grams of weed." And my manager was just like, <laughs> like uh, no. "I'm telling you, shit, man, <laughs> fuck out here." <laughs> For real, bro. It's pre packed, bro. That shit probably dried up. Ain't nobody sure. Bro, bro. <laughs> that shit's already crusty, you know, you know, like all that <laughs> hardness. <laughs> no, I feel you, bro. Shit, that's crazy. Nah, that is crazy. How's it been in Chicago? You're Chicago, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, bro. Man. It's all right. I mean, I haven't really been in, in dispensaries. Like, I haven't stepped foot in a dispenser here in like a fat minute. Oh, just because, you know, I take the trip down. To you guys, you know, like you know, <laughs> no, I like, <laughs> like I'm trying, you know, keep my pockets, you know, safe and you know, heavy, you know, not not no, you know, no, little, little slim wallet, you know, cause cause of the good bud, but nah, I mean, out here, bro, like there's a lot of people with mixed emotions on the cannabis here, like just in general, the product, you know, like some people it says it's good, and some people says it's trash, like. 
uh, what I've kind of seen like the, qual- the quality of the product. Yeah, like qu- what I've seen so far is like there's not a lot of like you know cr- um people who grow it. So there's not a lot of like greenhouses or anything like out here. So it's all like pretty like much in the labs and stuff like that. But as well, like I feel like not a lot of companies really want to take care or really go with the process of how to make good quality of of cannabis because although from the times that i've gotten from like the early stages of when cannabis became legal here it was more of like that type of like sandy sandy cannabis where when mm-hmm. you break it down it turns like kind of into sand and stuff like that yeah that's so, too dry yeah Dude. So it's not like here, like when I go to Michigan and like I feel the bud and I feel there's it's just nice how when sometimes you just have the buds that's very fluffy and you can see Fresh, the color yeah. bright and stuff like that. So it's like totally different. And I understand that like I see it from the back, you know, view of just observing, you know, although it's not like I like to say it a lot, but it's like I'm really not really involved in the Illinois cannabis community, although I want to so much. But I feel like with the advance and all, it's like some of them are really far. I sometimes it just with even life, it kind of just bumps into you know, just <clears throat> trying to be involved. You feel me? Like sometimes, yeah, no, feel you know, somebody you, gotta do what they gotta do. That's what, like, that's why I'm lucky because I get my with my job, I am involved. Mm-hmm. And all my co workers work somewhere where I shop at, and so I ask around. And it's places that really don't. It's places here like that too. It's not maybe that weed ain't dry, but they got people got mold on their shit. People, um, uh, what's the word? I'm uh, fucking looking for. Damn, I can't even think of the word. But they basically they're not passing tests on the weed, so they got to get it. They're doing they're doing some shit to pass the test. You know what I'm saying? But if you're, um, you know what I'm saying, remediate. Yeah. Remediated. That's the word I'm looking for. They remediating their weed, and then some of them not even. Some people not even telling people. People mm-hmm. got powdery mildew on their weed, not telling people. Like it's a lot of so it's a lot of shady shit going on. But you just gotta get in, kind of get in and find out what you really smoking. You know what I'm saying? Because when you know people who work in the industry and work for these companies, you can ask like, how the grow doing? Or, and they'll tell you, be like, bro, don't smoke that shit or don't smoke this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because there's it, some shit out here you don't want to be smoking for sure. I'm sure. I, I think that's everywhere. But like, I, I was reading like an article where they were saying that I think it mostly where where I think consumers find like mold mold weed is in like pre rolls and stuff like that. Um, but <clears throat> which is kind of like crazy because like, well, at the end it's like if one is pre packaged as well, you know, like and at, and as well like you're you're thinking i think like because it's coming off from a dispensary and and you see the little certificate of analysis in there and, and all the percentages you think everything's all good and all but like con- turns to find out if you were to like i guess open that joint or whatever that pre-roll look at how it is from the inside you feel me mm-hmm. yeah that's why if you can find out about some shit find mm-hmm. out if you know somebody who works for a packaging company or they do they trim for a company, anything like that. Ask them like how that shit looking, bro, for real, bro. I buy this shit because you gotta really look deep because you consuming this shit. You know what I'm saying? That shit, yeah. that, shit that, that shit can affect your health in the long run. So so it's crazy. And, <clears> and also yeah. just just within like the people I, I like kind of met, you know, with their own little small business that involves, you know, the, the community and all like you know, there are a lot of like, I guess, good people within the community, but it's more of like the people who are just the higher tops that is kind of like just changing how 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 it is out here, which is more mm-hmm. like how I think of it is it's more like of a business related here in, in Illinois than I think as a, you know, community or something like because like although like I've gone to three different, you know, cities in Detroit, like I mean, Detroit and Michigan. They're all seem to be all welcome, you know. They all seem to mm-hmm. be all like, you know, involved and stuff like that, you know. Like, yeah, they know a lot, of, like what's going on. They're not just selling shit. A lot of them, some of them, I ain't gonna say everybody, but it's some, you can find some good people out here. Organic companies. Some people just gonna sell you anything, bro. Like, so you really just gotta find them ones. But yeah. it's some good shit out here. I, lo- I love small. We got a lot of small batch uh, companies in mm-hmm. uh, Michigan, too. You definitely want to look for them. You know what I'm saying? People who've been growing for years, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? And now they can do it. You know, I don't know all the laws and shit, but I'm pretty sure you can do Everybody can just grow at their house now. So it's just a lot more freedom going on. And 
That's what I hear. Like a lot of like, it's crazy because like the majority of like the now the people that be coming to the pod is like from Michigan and all, and it's pretty much like what I hear too. Like cannabis out out there is a little more lenient now. Then I mean, although true, it has man. you know it has its laws and all, but like yeah, although it, you know just the difference comparison from here and to there is like oh shit, you guys are like way more you know into the industry than what we are. But then again, it's like. We don't know how it's gonna go, man. You know, yeah. it's just all about <laughs> connections, man. Because it's some, you know, what I'm saying they're gonna mm-hmm. get connected, and then hopefully, them prices gonna drop out there too. Because that shit is just ridiculous. It's, it's, it'd be a deal breaker for me. I wouldn't be buying weed at all out there. <laughs> and I love, uh, like the the, the dispensaries um, layout. You know how everything's just out there. You know, it's... yeah, they like little shopping malls out here, man. Like it's crazy. And in, in uh, somewhere I think around Detroit, there's actually a, like a cannabis mall. Oh like shit! Big, really? Yeah, yeah. I can't remember the name of it, but I I have to look it up. But yeah, it's crazy, man. A lot of shit going on in Michigan. I love it. I, that's why I moved back. Man, I was living in Tennessee. That's not why I moved back, but that's one one reason why I was excited to move back. I moved from Jackson, uh-huh. where I'm from. I was I was uh, I grew up there. I stayed there my whole life. Then I moved to Chattanooga, Tennessee, and uh, stayed there for about four years. How was that? Man, I was straight, man. I was still out there smoking, but you know they don't really, they don't fuck with the weed down there. But they really be more worried about other stuff, honestly. Like I never got in trouble for weed. I always had weed on me, smoking weed and shit. I, I had a couple uh, situations. I had one situation where a cop threw them, threw my weed away, and that was just it. You know what I'm saying? They gave you a like, ticket or anything like that. He didn't give me shit. Oh, he wasn't shit. trying to. Deal. You could tell he was not trying to deal with it. He was kind of <clears throat> looking for some other shit. And what probably, what do they are? They, what is it more like out there? They be on. They be looking for that meth out there and oh, for real? You know what I'm saying? and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Wow, so, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like if you got a pound of weed, they gonna get you, of course. But I, I ain't never had on me. I ain't never had nothing but you know a couple grams or an eighth or something, mm-hmm. and they just throw it away. One of my homies had a had a cop. He had a whole zip. Cop had him dump that out, and then. He had him dump that shit out like right in the grass in the middle of the summer. So bro just went back and got it. <laughs> went back and he went back and picked that shit. Shit, right I would the too. The fuck? <laughs> if I ain't getting no ticket or nothing, buddy, let me slide. I'll you know drive away and come back right away. I'll pin that shit for on my real. phone, you know. <laughs> nah, for real, bro. <clears throat> again, hey, I'm gonna drop that that uh that eye little thing. What's it called again? What's the that Apple shit that you can track, we can put on something. Oh, like, you dropped the, the dot right there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, bro. No, that's funny too. Damn, yeah, that's yeah, crazy. That's then, funny. then it makes sense. I mean, I don't know, but I mean, that's that's like down south right there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and they don't, you know, what I'm saying, I ain't saying they want to risk mm-hmm. somebody for having a gram. I don't know, but they just when where I was at, they just really wasn't tripping on it like that. And I don't be tripping when the cops pull me over. I'll be respectful and shit. I just be quiet and just, you know, let them do their thing. So he just threw that shit away. I was, hey, I was blessed. <laughs> Carried on. Hell yeah. That's what's up. But I'm sure they also into like drinking out there a lot now as well. Drinking. Oh yeah, they love drinking, man. Moonshine and shit down there. Yeah, but I'm not a big drinker though. Oh, just, hell yeah. Just, I, drink, I drink a little bit, but you know, not very often. Uh, yeah, I feel you, bro. I mean, it, I feel like when I'm drinking, it makes me want to smoke. Yeah, nah, I definitely. definitely. Uh, yeah, I just, I just need a smoke, you know, like at least like a pen or something on me, like you know, like, let me just smack on that shit, let me melt right, down. Right, right. Keep, keep the steezy on me when I'm out, man. If I ever go to the bar, I keep it right on, keep it right around my neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, and it's a good, you know, little um cover up too, because it could. Go in as a, just a posh, you know, or like a yeah, jewel. Yeah, they think that, they think it's a jewel or something. Yeah, jewel, yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, I remember yeah. when the, those first came out, like uh, over here in the city. And this is like, like not even like dispensary stuff. This is like from the plugs and shit like that, where they they would like kind of hype it up and uh, they would like give you a little, like they'll send you like a little like promo video or whatever with how it looks and all. Like just hype that shit up and it's like, damn, that's crazy, you know, like. Looks literally like it's something that's just out the gas station, or whatever. But <laughs> no, for... I don't even think you see jewels nowadays, do you? 
Uh, I think they stopped making the jewels, but they still do the little breezes and a bunch of fucking other ones. Though. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Like, now you have those pods and shit like that. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. There's a million of them bitches out there. Yeah, I try to stay away from them. <laughs> no, those <clears> those are the real time. cancer shit, man. Those are really get you cancer. Those really get you killed. Yeah, man. I'm really. I I ain't gonna act like I never uh, uh vape at all, but mm-hmm. no, nah, it's not good for you. <laughs> it's not good. For you. You can feel the difference when you stop, for sure. So I know you, you um, as well. When we, uh, I first met you and shit, uh, you were telling me that you were about to be in that little in that uh, in the team for Stizzy to be on the hoop tournament and all. How, how was tournament. that at the end? Yeah, how was that? that? In, yeah, man, that was in Illinois, man. That was crazy, dog. So we walked into that thinking it was going to be something totally different than what it was. We think we just gonna be playing hooping with other people in the industry, like butt tenders and shit. You know what I'm saying? Bro, we get there and these motherfucking Illinois dispensaries put together actual teams, like <laughs> why <laughs> they got their starting five right there. Bro, they had the mom stars in this bitch. They had like bro, these it, it they was huge. Uh-huh. They was real hoopers, bro. We got we got fucked up. We got the Yeah, no. Nah. It was fun though. I mean, it was a fun experience. We went to Illinois and you know got some food and shit and was chilling. But yeah, the basketball thing. We played two games, bro. In one game we could have won, but we had uh our the hope of the whole team. He was the nicest on the team. He ended up having to leave at halftime. Damn. <clears throat> so we was through. That's when. That's when the your star all player hope. had to leave. Star <laughs> player had to, had to leave, bro. And, <laughs> I'm not the hooper like that. I'm thinking I'm about to come out hooping because I'm thinking we're not playing with real hoopers. So I'm like, oh yeah, I'm about to I'm about to go, go crazy out here. Uh-huh. But nah, oh, yeah. it, was, it was it was crazy. We got demolished. It was fun though. It was uh-huh. fun. That's what's so, up. Because it was like me and like three other people who was who who could even hoop at all. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like at all. And then the rest of our people was just like just there for fun and shit, you know. <laughs> Yeah, like, and it was full court. The gym was like ninety degrees, bro. It was no air. Fuck, wow, y'all, I'm sure y'all, y'all no musty air, and sweaty bro. in that bitch. I'm, and I had been working out, so I'm in decent shape, but I'm still dying. I'm like, bro, it is hot. It's way too hot in here. Nobody should even be playing basketball. It's way too hot. But it was what it was, dog. It was cool. Yeah, I had like if they would have ass... warned us, I would have called a couple homies. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. <clears throat> Some of my big homies and we the win. I've been like, man, you about to play in this tournament with us, just uh, grabbing people. I got people. You in this bitch? <laughs> for real, I got people who would just pull up and just be like, all right, we hooping, all right, let's do it. I'm sure. Like, they, ain't, they ain't give us a chance. They, they they had whole real hoopers. I'm pretty sure I'm pre- one of the teams had a dude that was like, um, uh, D League NBA type shit. I'm like, bro. He damn near NBA. Like, <laughs> yeah, hey, that, that was his summer his summer league. <laughs> and it, it, became, it was not for no money or nothing. It was not. It wasn't. You didn't even win nothing. Uh, was hooping, it, it was just a just a play, right? Yeah, just a play. Had a big, did you guys have a big? You guys have a session? Oh, we had plenty of sessions. That was one of the best parts about it. We had some great sessions out there. That's what's up, bro. And then, like, <laughs> from this, from your group, you know, was it all people from Michigan or just different people from, like, the brand in general? Uh, actually, we got an Illinois team. We got the Stevie Illinois team. Okay. And, uh, that's who we – we had a couple of them on the team. A couple of them was cheerleaders. We had some Michigan cheerleaders, you know what I'm saying? So it was kind of lit. Like, it was a nice little scene, but we just didn't – we just wasn't prepared, you know what I'm saying? If we had known what we was walking into, we literally – brought out some real hoopers like you know what i'm saying even even as a promotional thing like oh you a michigan hooper come hoop with us we're gonna have videos we're gonna put videos all over instagram and everything so it might be a little exposure for you you know what i'm saying like we could it's a lot of ways we could have went maybe next year that's what we gonna do but yeah this year yeah make it make it more big you know make it more for like Mm -hmm. people to be involved in shit like that yeah that'd be cool as fuck exactly you know uh you ever heard of slim with the pack no, I don't think so. I'm pretty. I think he might be from Illinois. He uh he comes out to uh Michigan though, and he hosts events. He they always lit, and uh, he's the one that was on our team. He uh he was on our team for like oh I think it was the first half. It might even been one quarter, but broke a hoop for real. It was crazy. I didn't expect it. 
But yeah, he had to leave. He had an event or something going on somewhere work, so he had to leave. But man, mm-hmm. that's when we start getting stomped. But yeah, I would give bro a follow for sure. Uh, Slim with the pack. Yeah, he, bro, he be hosting all types of uh, events in Michigan. I think he would host events in Illinois probably too, but it's probably not legal because he don't he don't even do them in Lansing. We never get events in Lansing. People always do them in Detroit. I think it's like a, something going on with the city or something. But they don't allow that shit in Lansing. We trying to find a spot though. And that's his. Oh, then with the pack. Here, let me see. Let me find him. I can give you his. Uh, his uh I think. Uh, yeah, I think I see his thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just slim with the pack, and the pack has two Ks. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. Okay, I'll look more into it and shit. Yeah, yeah, bro's lit, man. Cool as hell. That's what's up, bro. So overall, like, out, do, does like the like Stizzy outside of like Michigan, like, do they do anything for you guys? Like, do you, like, do you have you gone anything anywhere elsewhere? The farthest I went was to Illinois. I think they go. Uh, I'm, I'm only like seven months in still. Because uh-huh. when we met, I was like, I was still like brand new. Then oh, okay, okay, but okay. um, yep, yep, but uh. Not usually. I think, oh, they do. When they start in other states, sometimes they send us over there to help the other state. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But but right now, I think, I don't know if we got any other states coming. I think New York is coming. But, like, I don't know if they're going to need us for that. I would love it, though. Shoot. I've never been in New York. So, <laughs> they want to send me out there. I'll definitely go. You guys, are you guys also in Colorado? I don't think so. I'm pretty oh, sure it's just Michigan. Uh, Nevada, Arizona, California, of course, and then New York, I think. But it's 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 this is based on in Cali, right? Or where is it based? Yeah, on? based in Cali. Yeah, based in Cali. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not bad, G. I see. I see. You also being in cookies dispos. How how's that? How how's those yeah. cookies dispos? Uh. I go to the cookies in Jackson. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Jackson's not that big a town, so it'd be all right. You know what I'm saying? They just don't carry that much of our product. You know what I'm saying? Just usually like a pre roll or a five pack of pre rolls and a couple of bait pods. You know what I'm saying? So we don't go too crazy out there. But if you go to one that's stocked up, you know what I'm saying? We always go crazy. And it is cookies. So I always have a good time out there. It's always lit. Okay. And then another thing is, it's the cookies in Jackson. That's where I'm from. So when yeah. I be at cookies, it'd be kind of like a family reunion. That bitch, I'd be seeing all my cousins and homies I went to school with and all oh, types shit. of shit. So it's lit. That's what's up, G. Not bad, not bad. And then I know you wanted to uh, get into like a little bit of the TH- THC levels and all. So, so what you think on them? Like, I know, I know, <clears throat> how, like back then, it used to be kind of low THC levels, and now it's high. Well, what's yeah. your what's your input on that? My my thing about THC levels is like <laughs> I don't know. This is, it, I just don't take it that serious. It, people, I feel like people either don't take it serious enough or they take it way too serious. And I'd be like, you got to find a balance because THC percentage is not the only thing you should be looking for. You got to look at the terpenes. You know, look how fresh the flower is, what the harvest date is. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just a, and then just smell it, bro, and just look at it. Mm-hmm. Two very simple but important things, you know what I'm saying? Like, people be like, let me, I done bought some shit that they told me was like 32%, you know what I'm saying? And I smoked it, and I'm just like, bro, I'm just not that high. And sometimes it's just a waste. So I'm like, you just gotta find your types of flower, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, stuff that just does it for you, you know what I'm saying? If OGs usually do it for you, but it's like 24, 23%, you know what I'm saying? But it smells really good and it's and it's fresh. Like, bro, grab it. You know what I'm saying? That's just going to get you guys fucked more. Exactly. <laughs> and you especially, know. If it's a, especially if it's a company that has the terpenes listed, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, that's that's a lot, bro. You you pretty much, you know, you just knowing, learning a lot more about the high you will possibly get, you know what I'm saying? So that's just the type of shit I fuck with. So, so that's my thing on percentages, though. Like, it's just, it's just, for me, it's just not that serious. And people just still get too excited about it. And I'm like, man, it, I think it's a mind thing. Because that shit don't work. I, I remember when I first moved to Lansing, I went somewhere. I ain't going to say the shop name because I ain't trying to talk down on nobody. You know? But 
they had a eight for like forty dollars or forty five dollars, and you know after tax that's like fifty something. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I grab it. It was like thirty two percent. It was purple as hell, pretty as hell, but it was dried out, like dry as hell. You could barely smell it no more. And I ain't get high at all. So I'm like, you know, just because something is 30 something percent, man, that don't mean it's going to do it for you. Maybe try it out, but don't be spending your last on it. <clears throat> and learn more about terpenes. <laughs> and learn more about terpenes. You're right. So then my really? question, I guess, is that what well, something that I guess has been on my mind is like, so I guess people who, who shop and I guess go crazy will. About the the levels and all like that, like are they are are those like just people who don't know how to shop then, or those people who who don't? I ain't gonna say you don't know how to shop. I ain't trying to talk down, but Uh it's like I don't know. I just feel like, do you know about terpenes? If you still shopping like that and you've already learned about terpenes and you feel like it don't matter, that don't matter to you, and you feel like you tried all these terpenes and they all get you and you all and you always feel the same way, or you have some reason. Mm-hmm. Then I feel it, you know what I'm saying? But at least kick back on the try try kicking back on the percentage thing and then go try out some terpenes, learn about the effects of the terpenes, all that shit. And then, you know what I'm saying, just try that out. I bet you'll like it better. But if not, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go back to, you know, hunting down that 33% bag. That's crazy though. I haven't really like met anybody that, that goes crazy over high level percentage uh I, th- I feel like as a s- consumer and even just somebody that's in the industry that you know that you know, that has learned shit and all like or even i guess uh, kind of mature in a way i guess on how you how to view it because like i guess before like kind of i used to kind of think like the best shit was because it had the highest levels but like again like, it turns <clears throat> out it's it's not like that. It's, exactly, it's bro. Literally not like 30, that. <laughs> if you got a twenty three percenter, and it's fresh, and you got a motherfucking thirty three percenter that been on the shelf for a year, six months, something crazy like that, and it's probably about to be crunchy dry, and the terpenes just gone. It's probably not even about to get you. You probably won't go with that fresh shit. You know what I'm saying? But. So, but yeah, so, people starting to catch on though. I'll just be sitting there watching people. Some sometimes I'll be trying to sell some steezy shit, and they'll be like, "No, these are testing higher." Even though I'm doing buy one get one free, mm-hmm. and they'll go buy some else because it's testing higher. So you still got people like that out here, and you know what I'm saying. But I just hey, whatever works, man. <laughs> whatever right. works for you. It be you, yeah. I get all people tell me they don't like Steezy sometimes for all types of weird reasons. I'll be like, like, uh, well, like what though? Like what reasons? Uh one one dude <laughs> 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 one dude told me I'm in the shop and he comes in and he's looking for I think he was looking at another infused pre roll. I ain't gonna say no name, but uh <clears throat> he was like I was like, Oh, just so you know, bro, we doing buy one, get one free on all of our inf- infused pre rolls. And he, he was like, oh, I don't like live resin. And I was just like, what? I don't, it was just weird to me because, like, I feel like a lot of people complain about infused furos being infused with, like, distillates. And they would be like, oh, it gives me a headache or or it's only meant to vape. Like, you only meant to vape distillates. Like, I hear that a lot, you know what I'm saying? So, <clears> like, the ones that, for- are, that are men, like, put in the carts, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, so that's okay. pretty much what a lot of people using in their infused pre rolls is they just taking some shit that people usually vape, uh-huh. put it in the put it in the infused. That's why you see them infused joints for like five dollars and shit. They're like that's probably this, <laughs> probably this to it. But I don't knock it though. Like if it's working for you, grab that shit. You know what I'm saying? And and it's cheap. So, you know, get some people just trying to save some money. Yeah, but but, uh, I mean, but now here's the thing: is 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 that bad? Then is it bad? I don't like it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I don't like it. like I just don't like the high. I don't really like and I get a little bit of a headache too. Mm-hmm. If I smoke, you know, if I smoke a bunch of distillate infused heroes, but um I really like donuts, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like rosin uh pre rolls and shit like that. That's the best shit to smoke, even though it's more it's way more expensive, but 
it's just, it's just it's way better <laughs> so i don't know but if you gotta if i if i gotta cheap out a little bit i'm going with live ready i'm not here i'm not grabbing it just to get it mm-hmm. so the buddy didn't like live live rising or risen live resin. yeah rising. that's what we infuse that's what we infuse all our pre-rolls with is live resin uh-huh. So he's just, and he knew that. I don't even know how we knew it because I didn't even say that. I just said, we got some infused stuff. Uh, uh-huh. Buy one, get one free. He turns around and looks at my table. And he sees that it's steezy and he's like, oh, I don't like live resin. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, all right. Grab Look me at some, your shitty carts then. <laughs> grab, grab me some disties then, bro. Do your thing. But, um, get, get you some dank, dank vapes. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, you know what real, I'm talking man. about? <laughs> you said dang vapes? Yeah. <laughs> you, you know I what I'm talking about? You do? I think I do, yeah. Uh, let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Just for y'all who don't know what dang vapes is. I'm surprised y'all. Yeah. Out here, they, it used to be popular out here. Remember Chrome? Chrome vapes? Chrome? Chrome? Mm-mm. Yeah. Nah. Oh, my God. Hold on. Mm-mm. That might be well. No, it could be a mystery. It's so many brands. That's one thing I've learned, bro. Like, oh, but so I think well, I mean, at this point, this is like uh, what you might call it? this is like plug stuff. This is like from from like not this bullshit. If you you know. Oh, okay. Like the uh, the homie got them bitches. Yeah, like that. <laughs> like your plug got them. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. Like... Thank you, babe. So I'm like that shit ringing a bell for real. Yeah. Hell yeah. Give me a second, bro. Yup, dang babe. Right there, what you talking about? Remember these? Hey, yeah, I remember them bitches. I might have had some of them bitches before. Yeah, I remember these. I remember these. Who remember these, these, y'all? Shit. Yeah. They got vitamin E and all types of shit in them. <laughs> Bro, oh, remember these? Uh, hold on. You never had these. You never. You never. You never heard of these before. Yeah. This, yeah. I yeah. remember that. <laughs> it was like the smart water, but the, yeah, but the they smart had water. everything. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I've seen a lot of them when I was in Tennessee. <laughs> I wonder what the fuck were we, were motherfuckers really smoking. You never know. The world may never know. That scares me because I was part of the. I was part of them. <laughs> <laughs> I probably had one for real. That's crazy. I'm, 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 I remember somebody showed me the fake Packwoods uh bait. Damn. Like, you gotta be I gotta be real, it's Packwoods. No, nah, that shit was fake as hell. I hit it one time. I was like, bro, this is definitely T A C A or no, not T A C A. Uh Delta eight. <laughs> Delta eight. <laughs> Delta eight, uh, eight bro. Just because just because you actually spoke on two Two uh two shits uh um one what you th- well in but in general what you think on th thc a and, and delta eight like what's the difference like what you think in general of those two delta eight and T- thc a is fire maybe some people like make moon rocks with it some people they do a lot of shit with that and it don't get you high unless you like heat it up to a certain temperature i'm pretty sure um thca but delta eight that's that gas station shit <laughs> i can't fuck with the delta eight people people do it in a lot of like southern states though in tennessee delta eight is big but why though like First of all, it's not. Is it made by? Is it? It's not a real thing, right? It's like I don't know. It's like diet weed, bro. It's weird as hell. I don't, I, I I can't. I looked it up one day. Uh huh. I need to look it up again. Delta Delta A. I can't even remember what that shit is. But I just know. I just know it's weird. Um, I had some. I had a. I had somebody pop in the podcast. Uh, her name is her name is Nadia. She's from Michigan. Uh, she was telling us about Delta Eight a little bit, and, and she kind of said that it, it it was like it's not really a real thing coming out of the, the planet itself. Yeah. Like it's supposed to be. It's like I guess some type of 
a chemical or something that they made off based from the plant, and that's pretty crazy. Yeah. So it's like, I that's what it, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, yeah, yep. And that's why that's just weird. I mean, that's all you got. Cool, but I'd rather nah. I'm gonna give me some weed. <laughs> Fuck that. No, that's yeah. A, so then, so what? So th THCA is is so what? So does it get you high or or what? Yeah, yeah. Okay. THCA. I can't remember how they make it or. But it's like you just got all, all I know is it co usually comes in like a white powder. It's like a that's what it usually looks like, like white or like a white paste or powder. And um, you just gotta heat it up. So if you put it in a blunt or something, it'll get you high. Or if you dab it, it'll get you high. But if you like do anything else, it's just not, it's pretty much useless. Like it won't work like in an edible type shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's fucking complicated. <laughs> I was trying to oh, look it up. I know like, you thought you were smoking. <laughs> no. I was like, no, I was trying to look up, a, like, I was trying to look up a quick description of it. Uh, really. <laughs> I know you but, did. Uh, TH, but THCA is straight though. Like you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's fire. Uh, you ever heard of um, Crude Boys? Yeah, I actually uh, have a I actually have a fucking card. Right here. Yeah, yeah, they make some good shit. They uh, they make the uh, oh, that's what's up. Yeah, they make the uh, moon rocks. Mm -hmm. I forgot what they're called though. I don't think they call them moon rocks though. But it's a little jar, and it's like they soak it in something, and then they cover that shit in THCA, and that shit gets you high as hell. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure if, if you mix a lot of different cannabinoids with THC, that's just gonna get you in a different type of high. Yeah, I think they'd be charging like fifty bucks a jar for that shit. It'd be, it'd be straight. That's what's up. My bad. My bad, G. That's what's up. I know. Um. No. Um. <clears throat> since you're in Michigan, what happened with the Detroit Lions, my guy? <laughs> Man. What's going on yeah. with the Detroit Lions, bro? What yeah. happened there? <laughs> Man. Them my dogs though, still, but man, they just forgot how to fucking play football in that second half, man. It was just we had that shit. You guys really did. You guys just fucking owned San Francisco in that first half. I couldn't I... believe they shut down McCaffrey, everything, man, and he turned up, ended up with two or three touchdowns, and they just couldn't do it no more, bro. They was dropping the ball. He dropped the whole, t uh, bro, dropped the whole touchdown pass. Mm -hmm. It was crazy, man. It was rough, but I'm still proud of them boys, though, man. They oh yeah, crazy, I, I man. give I give them props as fuck too, man. Especially from yeah. all of them fucking that drought season they had. For real, man. Zero and sixteen, and Dan Campbell, the coach, uh, was a part of the zero and sixteen team. I read. I didn't yeah. even know, but he was yeah, in. He I think the 2003. I think that was he, when he was playing with them. Yep, man, they got yeah, man. So we can't. They came a long way, man. It's, it's it was cool. I wanted I wanted to go to Detroit, but I didn't make it. So I just went to a bar in mm -hmm. uh in Lansing. It was lit though, man. Uh, it was yeah, lit. I'm we sure we guys couldn't believe it. We, was... had, we had them shut down in the first half, man. We couldn't believe it. <laughs> Y'all were crazy, I bet, going crazy and shit. Yeah, it wasn't even a big bar I was at, and it was. It was crazy, man. No, nah, but I actually am a first. I'm actually a Dallas Cowboys fan. So oh, I was just about to ask you, a Bears fan or what? Uh, no, nah, well, at first, well, yeah, I I go with my Bears because you know they they my hometown team and all. But I, I'm at, I, by reality, bro, I'm a I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan. He said he rocking with the Cowboys. That's, yeah, that's what's up, though, man. I kind of like the Cowboys too, man. Even though uh, we had that game, they had that game versus the Lions. I ain't like them that day. <laughs> Dude, I did not like them boys that day. But that uh, game, you guys should have won. That game, yeah, you guys should have fucking won. won. I, I couldn't believe it. I was at, I was actually at a cannabis event, and they had the game on, and uh -huh. me and all the homies were standing there watching, bro, geeked up because we thought we had it. And yeah, they damn near that. That was the refs. The refs was tripping. They had some money on the game, clearly. That fucking yeah, they gave it. They gave it to the fucking Cowboys, but I honestly, I think because uh, I even personally don't think we won that game. 
They yeah, they robbed them. Okay. They they robbed the, the the Lions, and that was shameful <laughs> to see, bro. They definitely did, man. It was, it's all good though. No, nah, but, but uh, look, uh-huh. no. Nah, what was you saying? I was gonna say now. Now, uh, did you hear about that theory that that, that was going on? Oh, uh, like uh-uh. on social media, apparently about the the color wave of, of the Super Bowl, how it was purple and red. Oh yeah, yeah. Now that shit is the bunk because now it's supposed to be it's the it's the Kansas Chiefs and the 49ers. Yeah, yeah. That, man, they always. I feel like that's not the first time they tried to say some shit like that. They always trying to say some shit is rigged or. Whatever. If the refs do some crazy shit like in that Lions Cowboys game, all right, then that's some some shit. Some shit. Yeah, but that bro, one is. But come yeah, on, don't nobody know who about to be in the Super Bowl. They had they had that shit on the news and everything. You can't make this up, bro. For real, they believe anything. <laughs> they believe anything. <laughs> no, but I honestly think that this is uh, the. It was it was your head coach's fault. Oh yeah, because he didn't kick the uh, field goals, man. That, that's how he play. That's how he played, though, man. They got that far playing like that, so no, that sucked, but... that, but also why they stopped the running game in the second half, like why they decided to keep throwing the ball. They did keep throwing that shit, didn't they? They didn't do no screen. I don't remember no screens or nothing. They they, they run the ball for shit, bro. Bit. I'm like, and what are you dropping that bitch? In then California, they... in in beautiful weather, dropping the fucking ball. <laughs> And then another no, I, I, was it was it was it nice that day or was it raining? I, I'm not. I don't, I don't remember. think it was raining, bro. No? I didn't see it. No, I didn't see no rain. Uh, <laughs> it looked it looked nice as hell. Okay, now I'm thinking about another game, but no. What what um? Here's here's the thing I didn't like. I don't like about Detroit though. They're not putting in my man's they David Montgomery a lot. They I feel like they using my guy a little bit. That's put, my dog, bro. They put him. They put him like literally for the the beginning minutes of the game, and then all you see for the rest of the game is Gibbs, and that's it. For real, I don't know what's going on, but he the one. My yeah, Montgomery the one. Yeah, he is, bro. <laughs> he is. I like Gibbs. I like Gibbs too, even though he fumbled, and that's another reason they lost. <laughs> but. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I get it. He, I get it. He's a rookie and all, and like he's doing well for a rookie. But at the same time, like they're making it seem like he finishes all the time, and it's like no, like you had to put in Montgomery most of the time to finish as well. Like, come on, my guy. It was like five games in a row where they both had a touchdown. Though it was crazy. Yeah, they're they, yeah. they fire. They're a fire combo. Fire duo. I hope. I hope Montgomery yeah. stays with Detroit for another season. Yeah, no, for real. I hope so too. I'm gonna be hurt if he's not there next season. We need that same squad, man. Keep everybody. I feel like y'all <laughs> just gotta uh built a little more on the offensive side. Yeah, man. You know what though? I said keep everybody. Excuse me, I retract that statement. Uh the secondary is trash. Man, Lion secondary is weak as hell. They need some new cornerbacks and safeties. But yeah, that, that, I think that's what you guys need a little bit more on. on also, I think offensive side though. Yeah, like um, we're at offensively, you think? But yeah, that game just made like after seeing that game, that made me think that you guys pulled an Atlanta Falcons move. You remember that game, that Super Bowl? Uh uh-uh, uh, which one? When Atlanta was like dominating the Patriots. Oh with, yeah, they got Tom there. Brady. Yeah, they, they got. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. That was that was. I feel like that was worse. What was the score? I believe that, uh, that was like. Hold on, give me a second. That was like thirty some thirty. I thought they had it. I was like, "What Falcons with the dub?" Them boys got smoked. <laughs> At the end, it was 34 to 28. But here's the 34. thing. Oh, yeah, they came back on that on that ass. Crazy. That was so, so the second half, uh, it, it ended with uh, New England with a field goal. And the Falcons had 21 points. 
And then the third half, of the third quarter, it was seven points. So they did a touchdown and a field goal. And then the Patriots did a touchdown. And then in the fourth quarter, that's when they did. They pulled 19 points. Them boys got fucked up. I thought they had it. They was talking so much shit, too. Oh, yeah, they were. That was fucking crazy, man. Uh, yeah, you uh, in the boxing or MMA at all? Uh, not really, bro. I, I, I've seen some couple fights, but it's not like I can really talk much about it. Um, it's more low key for me. It's football. I'm sure. Um, basketball. I used to watch basketball a lot back in the day, but then I kind of stopped. Like, I, that, that was like when D Rose was with the Bulls and shit like that. Like, with, with oh, yeah. Buzzer, no Boozer. Um, uh, yeah, Noah Gibson. Yeah, yeah like that. Yeah, like uh, Robinson. You know, like. Uh, what's that other dude's name? Do with the glasses? What? All right, Hend- Hendrix. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, like that. Yeah, like back in the day when like LeBron was with the Miami Heat with the Way Wade and Chris Bosh. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, you know, like those those days. Yeah, you know, and when Good Kobe days, was still bro. around and shit. You know, R R I P Kobe and all, but like you know. Yes, sir. That's the peak, man. That's just yeah. crazy. I still can't believe that shit. Yeah, right? I think that was right before COVID hit. Uh, that's mm. crazy. That's crazy, bro. And they, I think they always would, would, would blame on the other people when it comes to a celebrity. Because, like, I remember when it was Paul Walker's death and they, they blame it on his friend and shit a lot. You know, who was driving and shit? Yeah, and then this one, it was, I think, like, Pilot's fault, like, yeah, he shouldn't have fucking flew, but Kobe shouldn't have told him to fly either. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that shit was a fucked up situation. Yeah, I don't know. Loki for me is a little Juice World. How Juice World Loki died? That's that shit was crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, recipes juice, man. Yeah, that shit was crazy to me, bro. Like, no, like, I woke up to the news. I'm like, no, you know, like shit. Hell yeah, when you coming back to Michigan, man? I don't know, B. I probably hope I'm hoping probably by 420, like 420 weekend. If not, uh, probably in the summer for sure. Yeah, yeah, man. We gotta link up. I got, I got a couple homies. Got a couple homies. Uh, you gotta meet. Oh, uh, for sure, G. I actually got like uh, hopefully, hopefully if it's still going on. Um, uh, had a probably link up with uh, what's it called? Lit Labs. Remember? I had a I probably think couple with late labs. Um uh, probably gonna we were I think setting up to see probably around like September or something like that, link up over there, do some content for them at their farm and shit. That's what it's fuck. Oh yeah, so we'll see, we'll see if that shit's still the move or not. Um I actually met the lit was the lit lab dude there when we met? Yeah, wheels. We were there at uh at Elite. Yeah, wheels, I think that's the name, wheels. Yeah, yeah, his name is Wheels, yeah. That's what's uh, up, man. Yeah, he was cool as fuck. He gave me hella free uh, edibles and shit. Oh, uh, for real? Yeah, I, I, I actually did a, a review for their alternative cannabinoids gummies. So, uh, yeah, so I got, and then I did a free giveaway for that shit as well. Yeah, I'm gonna go check it out. Uh, I don't know if I'm subscri- sub- subscribed to your YouTube. <laughs> you got a YouTube, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll send you the link and shit. But I think you are. Not, I'll send you the link and shit. Yeah, I might be. You never know. I'll be high as hell. But yeah, so. Over there, do you guys have like something like a little setup or a little. Like, or something like, like, <clears throat> like for your inventory or anything like that? Like. Yeah, so we do our inventory stuff in uh, Lake Orient. It's like an hour for me. That's where I go to pick up my all my giveaway shit. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we do. Well, then we got a headquarters in um, Pontiac, and we do events there sometimes for like dispensaries. Like we do dispensary parties and shit. So it's lit. You know what I'm saying? We got a couple spots that we meet up at, but we, uh, me and my coworkers don't really see each other that often because we, you know, what I'm saying we always be on the road. And we all live in different cities, so. Mm-hmm. 
some of us in different states. <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> Fuck. The fucking dab hit. Who was he with that day when we met? That was my girl. That shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> I girl. feel like I, I was about to say, I know you was with somebody. Mm-hmm. She don't be doing, joining in on the pod? Rose, uh, she's been telling her to slide through and shit, but right now she can't, she pregnant. <laughs> oh, congratulations, bro. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Um, oh, yeah, man. Yeah, uh, so she can't really, she well, she can't, really, she can't smoke at all. <laughs> well, um, I so I, I kind of, so I, I really been mi- missing my my smoking buddy and shit. Um, but, but yeah, <coughs> she should be, be worth be, it, man. It'll yeah. be worth it. She'll be right back smoking. How far along is she? Uh, bro, she's probably hopefully to be due in July. Hey, yeah, so she's fun, halfway man. there. She's halfway there. Yeah, uh, but. Anyways, um, so yeah, so she 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 always pops out with me and shit. Uh, like when we go out there, you know, she be like she would also help me out like recording shit, you know. So she'd be like kind of be a little tech and shit behind the scenes with me and shit like that. So that's what's I, up, man. Yeah. So, but other than that, like I'd be telling her she got pop out one day in the episode with just me and her and talk shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh. She actually did a review with me as well for um for a seasonal cart for for um ozone. It was the the pumpkin spice latte little d- disposable thing. So she popped out there with me. <laughs> so, yeah, what, was that was... Like? what was that? I said, what was it hitting like? Uh, it was all right. So here's here's the thing. It, it, here's That's a the crazy thing. flavor. Yes, here's the thing. One it. It kind of does taste exactly like it tastes like what a pumpkin latte would taste like for sure. It's very like the caramel, like not the caramel, but like the was it like the um, I'm losing my train of thought. What's it called? <laughs> uh, what is it like? Give me a one t- cinnamon. There you go. It tastes like a lot of cinnamon. There you go. Mm. I was losing my the, the word, <laughs> well, but fresh off the dab, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, no, nah, but, but yeah, so so it would taste a lot like that. But then another thing that with me and her, what we like dealt with uh, that get, with disposables is that it fucking like it, it clogs a lot on us. So yeah. I don't we I just don't know why I don't know it, it just happens to me a lot where with disposables for a, a certain amount of time like it, it just comes to a point where it clogs and for some certain reason this this cart clogged up real quick and it kind of led us with like kind of almost to the halfway mark damn so and then it here's was a, the, it was a five oh it was a disposable you disp- said yeah so and then here's the thing uh, the way that, that it is it was like I say it was like like this, right? And then, or like, let's say it's like like it's like well, yeah. Let's say it's like this, and then where you see the top, let's say the top part right here where you inhale, it's like a triangle, and a triangle inside that triangle, it's filled with the the oil. Mm-hmm. So pretty much, it's like at a halfway mark of the triangle, and that's how much is left of the cart. That's crazy. Yeah, so I know it, it seems like it's very hard to explain, my guy. I wish you were here in front of me so I can show you. And no, that's not shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was a stuck on me shit, but, but yeah, so it's like, fuck, you know, like. Man, next time you come, bro, make sure you hit me up so you can pull up on me at a vendor day. We get you a steezy battery, you know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, yeah. yeah, you gave you me. Have you, gave you, us... have you had a Have you had a battery yet? Dude, yeah, you gave us two the day we we uh, we linked up with that one first time. Yeah, was it? Did it work smooth? Yeah, we actually have ours. We still have ours. Uh, I just it's haven't good. got me a, a steezy pod, you know, because I don't really fuck yeah. with vapes like that. No, I feel you. Uh, I'm more like either with uh, the flower or the dab guy. Uh, but majority, I'm always I always pick a dab over flower. Like yeah, we be doing rosin too, bro. So if you if you're around, let me know. There's a couple stores in Lansing that got our rosin, and for you real? can get it. It's fifty dollars, yeah, but yeah. you can get it. You can get another gram free. You know what 
Yeah. Okay, okay, shit. I feel like I haven't seen any stizzy like rosin or any wax yeah. that, that's stizzy. A lot of people don't do it. Uh, Peachy does it for us. I don't know if you heard of Peachy, but they do some fire uh, hash rising and they, they make ours, so they make ours too. So it's fire. <laughs> yeah, I bet that's what's up, G. <clears throat> Can't yep, wait yep. to go out there and try it, shit. That's yeah, I broke up. my little e-rig. I have one, but uh, so my wax is just sitting in the fridge, but I'm about to get another one soon. Yeah, I was um trying to see if I can uh, upgrade my Puffco to a Puffco Pro or a Proxy, but I don't know if I should do it. Man, the Proxies be lit. I'll be hitting them at events. I don't have one, though, but I've tried a couple. Uh-huh. I like that. Uh, You ever seen that? Uh, What's it called? It's called the Carta. Yeah, I had one. That was my first one. I had a Focus V. Yeah, Focus V. That's what I was trying to think of. I yeah, think of it. that was my first. One. <laughs> I call it. I call it the Cardi. Yeah, yeah the Cardi. The Cardi. <laughs> yeah, the Cardi. The Cardi I, I've action. been looking at them, man. I've been looking at them, and somebody hit, let me hit one at an event. I was uh-huh. like, bro, I need this bitch, dog. Need it. And it's I got remember, the, little, the little display on it. I fuck with it. Uh, you had the, the 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 pro, yeah, that one is nice. But I had the like the original one, like it was just oh, like, okay. so like was it, it was straight? like, no, huh? Was it straight? It, it hit, yeah. But the thing was, like, I was very new to wax still, so I kind of like miss miss miss, miss like I didn't maintain it as well. Mm-hmm. So it kind of like died on me very kind of quick, like within probably like a year or a little bit after a year. Yeah, no, I feel so, you. It's good. It's hard maintaining them bitches even when you know how to do it. So when you're new to it, it's you know, even so, harder. So with this one, um, I keep I clean it like every week. Uh, cause I just like dab a lot. Like I smoke every day. Mm-hmm. Um, so I so so I clean it every week. Um, and recently, every time I clean it at all, I like, and I screw it on. Sometimes it doesn't like. Like I guess doesn't connect well, whatever, because the rainbow f- lights flash. So I was like, "Shit, is it really dying on me now, or what?" Because like, <laughs> how long you had it? It's about to be what, <clears throat> like, two. It's been two years. Mm, okay. Two years, yeah. I got it in, yeah, two two years. They do they do warranties on them. What was that? I'm sorry. They do warranties on them, like so. You I don't know. It, well, I got. Well, here's the thing. I got mine at a smoke shop. Oh, okay. And then the thing is, I got it there because they had a spe- a deal of on four twenty. It was like half off price. Damn. So I I'm got this. So I, so I got this bitch for like one fifty, bro. I was like, damn. damn. Steel. That's a steal, though. Damn, I was like, fuck. That's a steal. So I gotta get me one. I need some type of e-rig or some, some glass or something. I just got wax sitting in the fridge. I'm like, I'm not about to roll. I'm not about to roll a donut with it because that shit is just too much wax at once. I be seeing the way you roll your your fucking J, like your joints. They be thick, bro. Yeah, man. My the one the home one of my coworkers actually. Uh, I don't know if you gotta give him a follow on the gram. Uh, it cushed out Coda. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's my dog though. And I was when I first started at Steezy, I was smoking hella wood, backwoods, and dutches and shit. But now I only bro, bro just rolled up a couple joints around me, and them bitches was just fire. I'm like, dog, you gotta show me how to roll a joint. And then at one of our meetings, he showed me how to roll them bitches, and I've been rolling them bitches ever, ever since. <laughs> For real, they, be, so- they got they, they got to be fat too, because I feel like I used to smoke blunts, and I would get that nicotine high. Mm-hmm. So I make up for it with the extra weed. <laughs> How many grams do you usually roll? Uh, one point five or one point five to two point five. Okay, and then do you do you use double double like double wraps or? Mm-mm, no, I just use these uh king size uh elements. Oh, okay. Is that like your go-to brand? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what bro be using. But then after uh a while, I realized all of like joint rollers using this is for real. Okay. But I follow a bunch of like professional joint rollers now. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> and you and you be putting wax in that bitch or no? I haven't rolled a donut yet. Nope. I'm gonna try it one of these days, but I just like smoking. Right now I just really enjoy the flower, you know what I'm saying? Tasting it and all that. 
Yeah, I feel you. <coughs> and I like your, by myself. Was like you have like your favorite strain? Yeah, you can, you can say like you have like a go to strain. Man, really, I'm just an indica dude. I really like my indica, indica dominant hybrids. I take a hybrid too, but I usually don't do sativas. Besides, there's a couple sativa dominant strains that I just like for some reason. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. But um, sherbs, I like for damn near anything crossed with sherb or uh, mac. Mac one is one of my favorite strains. So any that or anything crossed with that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Runts. You know what I'm saying? Some good runts. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> That's probably like a top three for me right there. Okay, not bad, not bad. Yeah, no. OGs. Can't forget the OGs. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Uh, I could go with some, like, Gorilla Glue. Like, I think number four is the be the best out of all. Yeah. I like, I like some, yeah, I fuck with glues. I had an argument on Facebook one time with all my Facebook friends. They were saying sour diesel over the over the glue. What? And I'm like, sour diesel is like sativa dominant for one, I think. And then for two, it's it just it like is. that bitch was fire. But bro, over the glue, the glue when that shit first came around, I think you could just smell it from a mile away, bro. Like, oh, he got some glue. Nah. <laughs> I, I think I would go I, I would go number four over diesel. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, no. Nah, I personally diesel. would. That's exactly what I see. I'm, um, I'm a big cereal milk guy. Cereal milk will always slap. Hell a good yeah. batch of cereal milk. Fire, uh -huh. bro. I'm so lucky because like on my first ounce from coming from Michigan, I, en I ended up with like a little seed of cereal milk from my ounce bag. So I'm keeping that bitch till when it's ready. To I'm ready to grow it. Yeah, keep that bitch, man. Might move to Michigan one day. <laughs> Dude, I be telling Shorty, to, let's go, man. <laughs> let's go, bro. Uh, hey, I man. be telling her, bro. Be telling it be her. cold there. It be cold here. Like, oh, I it. don't care, bro. I think I think there's potential out there for for us over there. No, nah, um, man. <laughs> the industry popping over here for sure, man. It's growing over there too, though. So ain't no. Yeah. But once you move somewhere and you're from somewhere else, it's kind of like you got to put in both doors at that point. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, you got a point. There. <clears throat> no, but yeah, because I, I'm like I was telling him like, you see, I'm becoming a Lions fan. Like, you know, you always be out there for some weed. You know, <laughs> might as well. Dude, then uh, we have this thing where uh, we're the we're talking over for something that it's like about their little Caesars out out there. In Detroit, because we, we tried it for the first time out there, and that shit smacked, bro. Like <laughs> that shit smacked, like better than out here. Like we be comparing the fuck out of like Lil Caesar from Michigan to here, and every time uh, we go, I'm like, let's. You know, try I don't even Little think Caesar. I've eaten Lil Caesars in Detroit. So shit, no. I don't know. That's, that shit could just be popping. You know what I'm saying? That I mean, shit. I get it. I get it in Lansing or wherever I'm at, like uh -huh. type shit. But you know what I'm saying. That, that should just be smacking, bro. Like, <laughs> so here's a story. So we're, we're so we're, it's our first time, right, in Detroit. We're looking around. This is like before we we're heading to the Drake concert, and then we got we're we're hungry, and we're like fucking. Let's just stop at a Little Caesars because that's we didn't know what, what what to fucking eat. So then we pull up. And it looks kind of sketchy, but we're like, fuck it, why not? So we wait, we're like, can we just get a pepperoni pizza? We're waiting for our order. And then we like see like two people come in and then they they order their pizza. And then they say they want, I think, olive or no, garlic, garlic butter or whatever with Parmesan on their crust. Yeah. Yeah. So then <laughs> we hear that for the first two people, and we're like, "Oh, whatever." And then another, like another customer comes, and it's the same thing. Like order their food, and then again with that same exact topping on the cross. Garlic butter. And yes. <laughs> and then we we see another family, and we're like, "What the fuck is going on here?" <laughs> So we're coming in our car with our peaks and, like, and then we look at it and, and we see the like it looks good and all, and then we see the butt the crust and it's dry as fuck and we're like hmm 
to the editor. <laughs> but no. but then we're like, next time we go, we should add that shit to add that shit. Bro. Yeah, that's funny because I got that from uh, people from Detroit when I was in yeah. Jackson. Uh, for uh, real. Yep, yep. Yeah, like, okay, so I'm like, I wonder if that's a thing out there or not. So I'm yeah, like, hmm. I, I, it might have started in Detroit. I don't know, but I just happened to be in Jackson, and uh, one of the homies was going to college in uh, Jackson, but was from Detroit. Uh-huh. And we was chilling, and he was like, he was like, I told him I'm about to go get a hot and ready. He said, get uh, garlic, extra garlic butter and parma. I was like, what? Yes, I <laughs> got it, bro. That should change my life. I was like, what? So, so so now, like, when we order fucking Little Caesars, I be telling that bitch over here, too, and they be looking at me like, what the fuck? And I'm like, just add that yeah. bitch. And no, try it. I'm like, try <laughs> it. <laughs> You'll thank me later. <laughs> it's kind of one of them things, like, how did I not think of that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta, then, you gotta have... Yeah, yeah, I get you. And then, But then, here's the thing that's crazy, because now, like, if you order, like, a stuffed crust here... They already mentioned, like, it's already added, so you don't have to ask them. So I think now oh. they made it as a thing now. That's pretty cool. Okay. And, like, if Little Caesars picked up that trend of the, the customers, you know. You might as well just add, in Detroit. I don't know why they don't just ask. So you want extra garlic butter and parm? Right, hey, you want that shit? That should be an option already, right? <laughs> For real. Like, you, you ain't even about to waste no time. <laughs> Right, hell yeah, that should be already yeah. a fucking topping that you know side right there. An option. <laughs> uh, that's what's what, up, man. What, what episode is this, bro? Like, what, how, what number is it? How many? How many episodes uh, in? Are you? Uh, dude, I lost, I lost count, man. So <laughs> I just started numbering, just whatever. So I, I, was, I don't know. This probably would be because I dropped one that was like number seventy, hold on, seventy three. So I don't know. I'll do probably like 70, 70 something around That's the eighties, probably. Yeah, bro. So That's good, man. Getting That's... deep in there. Maybe maybe we next time we can get me and uh, <clears throat> a couple of my coworkers in or something. Oh hell yeah, most definitely. G shit. You into uh, any like theories or anything like that? Any, any, you any? Yeah. You like? Yeah, any theories? Any you know you think outside the box? <laughs> yeah, I actually I actually do, bro. I'll yeah. be taking. I don't really, when I hear a theory, I just take it into account, like, type shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't, I'm the type of motherfucker, I don't really believe shit until I see it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, so, but so what? So just... And I'll be like, hmm, I'll be like, that's possible. Like, you know, I feel like 9-11 was a fucking, just a big hoax. That's one thing about me, like. <laughs> I think every majority of America thinks starting to know that hopefully but you know yeah I get yeah. you I but shit that. like that though you know what I'm saying I hear yeah. shit like I, I ain't saying it's facts but I'm saying that's just what I don't think it went down how they told us it went down I don't, think, I don't believe that <laughs> I don't I just based on how the towers you know fell yeah I think it's it's not how it's not caused by a plane although For plane real. crashed or you know? It was it was a bunch of theories, and I was like, "Damn, that makes a lot of sense." I'm like, "Where? What the hell? What? Is, what happened?" Did you know another tower? <clears throat> another tower fell that day. What'd you say? Do you know another another tower fell that day, or another building Where? fell? Where at? In uh, on the same day that the twin towers fell. Mm. I might have heard read something about that somewhere, but I don't really remember what. What was it? Uh, hold on. It was like a small part of like the twin towers that I think no one knew about it. Hold on, one second so I can flesh it out. Uh, This one right here. Damn, that's crazy. So apparently this one had some type of like documents or some some other type of some some type of important shit. And I think no one else knew about this. 
So everyone keeps everyone forgets about this tower right here. <clears throat> That's crazy too. That is that is very crazy. And then another thing is apparently I don't know just because we're on the nine nine eleven topic, but apparently the one that that one plane that that supposedly uh not the supposedly but that the one that 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 crashed into the the Pentagon. No, not the Pentagon. The the far not the just the farmland or whatever in Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah. Apparently that one was supposed to come and hit in the serious tower here. Or is it? I'm sorry. I'm just high yeah, no, I think I read something about that too. They said something about the passengers of yeah. that one, like uh, did something and made it so they couldn't land there or something. I don't know. Didn't they, I heard somebody said one of the planes was unmanned. I heard like all types of shit. It's crazy. No, yeah, man. but that, it, one was supposed to come here to Chicago, which is pretty crazy. Um, Go to Chicago. Yeah, yeah, one was supposed to come here to Chicago, and I think, but I believe it was that one that crashed in Pennsylvania. That's crazy. But, um, that is not that, that is was such crazy. a crazy fucking time. I was in kindergarten. I think. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> man, I was in still diapers and shit. <laughs> For real, yeah, that's, that's crazy, bro. Crazy. Uh, you think? Uh, what you think on the Kennedy assassination? Kennedy assassination, man. I read, I haven't, you know, I've read a little bit about that, and I think I watched something about it in school, but I've smoked so much weed, bro. I don't even remember that shit. What was dude's name? Who killed him? Lee Harvey Oswald. Yep. Fucking, I think that's all I could tell you. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you can tell you. I, it was so many conspiracies. My brother told me he got killed for this reason. Somebody told me he got killed for that reason. I well, I mean, I believe what I believe. It, is that that if he wasn't killed, he would have, I think, expo exposed a lot of things that I think, in general, the government didn't want people to know. Yeah, because there's I, no fucking way they would let some shit like that happen. Even back then, you know what I'm saying? To the president? Like, bro, what? That shit's crazy. <clears throat> the video is insane. Yeah, right? With how his... Brains just, you know, come blow out. <laughs> bro, he fucking blew his head off. Like, that shit was bogus as fuck. Right in front of his wife. Yeah, and, and that happened in da in Texas, too. I believe in, da in Dallas. I believe in Dallas, too, as well. Crazy as hell. But sucks, I was watching, uh, I don't know if you watched this series. It's called, uh, I believe, was it? It's uh, with uh, James Franco in it. Um... Give me one sec. Give me a machine. It's the one. It's like, uh, so the theory, well, the whole point of this show is that James Franco, I guess, lives with, I, I believe it's his uncle, whatever, and they have this diner. Mm -hmm. And then one, then one day, James Franco, I guess, wakes up, whatever, he hears some shit, and he goes and looks what it seems to be going on. Like a normal as white person that will go towards the sound instead of running. Away. <laughs> uh, sorry, it's just the truth, guys. It's just the truth. They know it, especially in the movies. Yes, especially in the movies. Is it this one? Yes. Is it this one? Yes, it's this one. All right, give me one second, my guy. This one right here. It's called eleven twenty two sixty three. No, no, I've never seen that one. All right, so this is this show is on Hulu, and like I was telling you, so this guy pretty much goes into whatever sound he was going, he heard, and it takes him back to the era of when Kennedy was assassinated. Wow. What so, the fuck? So, yeah, so pretty much he's <clears throat> like a time traveler, and he goes back in time, and he, what I think he's trying to do is, like, trying to stop the assassination of Kennedy. That's crazy as hell. I don't know why this kid... Oh, Stephen King wrote that? I believe so. 
Well, tell me why this guy does not look does, looks like Brock Purdy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Lee Harvey Oswald in the movie? Yeah. Fuck it too. <laughs> look like like Brock Purdy there. <laughs> look like he's he like he about to shoot some shit up, and he do look like Purdy. <laughs> <laughs> he about to shoot somebody before the Super Bowl. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> But yeah, so it, it, it's like a trippy, trippy episode. I mean, not episode, but a show. Um, yeah, so I'm, gonna have to, I'm gonna have to check that out. I've been looking for some shit to watch. I ain't watched shit on Hulu in months, and I've been paying for that shit. So, well, there you go. So yeah, so so yeah, so this is this is a this is a good show. I like it, and I think I'm gonna rewatch it sometime soon because it's been a while. You into anime at all? A little bit. I'm not really into it like that. Um. I can say probably Dragon Ball Z for sure. Um, I see <clears> little <throat> episodes of Attack on Titan just because of my friends. Oh yeah, uh, that's that shit right there, yes sir. So here, okay, so, here, so here's a, here's another story. Um, so my, I was trying to get into anime, right? So I was willing to take my time and watch a show, and. I was talking to my friends about it, and, and instead of going with their recommendations that they gave me, I decided to go on my own and explore. <laughs> <laughs> so I started with Netflix, and I was like, fuck it, what's there to watch on Netflix? So I started watching this show, I guess. It's, it's called Beast, Beast Stars or whatever the fuck it's called. Beast Wars, Beast Stars. I haven't heard of that one. Okay. Netflix got some shit, though. Okay, so anyways, the storyline to the show is pretty decent. Uh, I finished watching it like with the whole seasons and all. It was pretty decent to me, and it, I, I think it just caught my attention because it was animals and shit like talking, you know. So then I was mm-hmm. mentioning to my friends about the show, right? And then they started fucking laughing their asses off. <laughs> And then one of them called me, I think, a furry. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Oh, uh, because you're a furry? Yeah. I'm like, what is that? And they all just started laughing. I'm like, damn, what is it? What am I getting myself into now? Oh, that's, <laughs> fucked, that's fucked up, bro. That is fucked up, right? And so then I had to Google it. And I'm like, oh, you assholes. So I'm like, <laughs> sorry, man. I don't know what the fuck am I looking at. I thought, but I was telling them the storyline. And I think, and they were like, and I'm like, it's just an interesting story to me. And I'm, they're just like, I guess. Like, they're yeah, like, there's no, better they shit to just, watch. They was just <laughs> fucking with you, bro. I mean, any, I feel like, I don't know. If it was straight, it was, it was straight. Shit. I don't know. I think it was a good storyline. I mean, like, I don't That's know. Like, right. some... then, that, then, then, then it wasn't a waste of time, bro. <laughs> I, that, right. That's what, that's what they all said at the end, too. I'm like, I guess. I'm... But yeah, I don't I don't like to have sexual activities in furry costumes. <laughs> Just to let y'all know. <laughs> Just no, to let y'all know. <laughs> That's funny as hell. They call the furry because you watch the anime. That's crazy. Yeah, bro. But I'm like... Dude, that, but that's some that's some homie shit though, man. Yeah, it is. But but yeah, so I'm really just deep into Dragon Ball majority, bro. So yeah, I watched man. I was watching Dragon Ball since I was little. That's low key what got me into anime, really. So you what? What other shows do you watch? Man, I watch a little, a little handful of anime. I watch uh Demon Slayer. Mm-hmm. That shit's fire. Definitely recommended. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. That bitch is fire. Uh, what else am I watching? Right now I'm watching uh My Hero, My yeah. Hero Acad- Academia. That shit yeah. fire too. I slept on it for a while, but yeah, I'll be watching all that shit, man. I probably watch you know, like One 20. Piece. Mm, that, you know, that's a million episodes of that motherfucker. I'm probably on like episode forty or fifty, but it's just hard for me to get into. I did watch the live action though, and that bitch was fire. So okay. Yeah, yeah, I probably watched like twenty or thirty of them, maybe a little give or take. You know what I'm saying? A few. I I keep forgetting this show. I forget, I don't know if you might help me out with it, but it it's a it's a show where I guess uh, it's like three friends. I believe it's three friends, and they fight. They have like a special superpowers or whatever, and they fight demons. 
It's like a old anime show too, just just because of how the animation looks and all. Oh, maybe Yu Yu Hakusho. Uh, I believe so. He he got on like a green, green and blue and yellow. Is it like that? I'm not too sure. Let me see. That's what he wearing. Uh, the main character. Let me see. How you spell it again? <laughs> you is why is why you why you. Uh, I and think then so. H- I got it. Yeah, yeah. Yes, these, yeah. Yeah, let me show it. Let me show it first so everybody can know what <laughs> we're talking about. Don't be like, what the fuck's going on? Yeah, they, they just did a live action for that, too. That shit was kind of lit. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see that shit fun. right there on Netflix, huh? Yeah, live action's kind of like they did a Dragon Ball live action years ago that everybody fucking hated, including me. Oh, yeah, but, I, heard, uh, I seen that. That shit is tra- straight ass. <laughs> it's, it's my suit yeah. Yeah, but but the One Piece live action and the Yu Yu Hockey Show uh live action, I gotta give it to him. It was it was pretty straight. Yeah, I'm not gonna like 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 the animation of like this is pretty like I liked it. Like I like how this animation yeah. looks. Like that's no, what's that's up. Fire. Like I feel like they gotta no. make more of stuff like this. Yeah, I'll still go back and watch it sometime. So but yeah, so that's pretty much what well that's another show that caught my attention that I like. I just haven't. I don't know. Yeah, that's that's about. a classic right there, for real. So so yeah, my boy. So so before we wrap it up, and all oh my guys, is there anything else you you want to ask? Can I? <coughs> you want? To- nah, man. That's really it, man. I had a good time, though, definitely. And thank you for having me, my dog. For sure, it's good to see you too. Oh yeah, for sure, my guy. Thank you for for giving us your time and all. You know, talking about hella shit. <laughs> Hell yeah, we chopped it up for a minute, man. Yeah. So, so I think that we'll wrap it up. And oh my guy. Um. So, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to you know hit that subscribe button out on YouTube, and don't forget to just watch out for our latest podcast episodes everywhere you listen to your podcasts. And as with as well with the YouTube, we do other reviews we do a ton of shit vlogs and stuff like that so be on the lookout for the new shit and other than that we'll we'll see you guys in the next podcast episode or vlog have a good rest of your day everybody